What's up everybody, Coach Milfs here, coming at you with a brand new Valorant video. And in this video, we're gonna be breaking down a lot of crazy stories. First off, we're gonna break down some Valorant leaks that came out that actually might show us what is going to be the future ranked system. And it's really exciting because it's a lot of the things that we've been asking for. And then we gotta talk about a Valorant pro that actually got completely banned off of Twitch. And we gotta talk about what happened and the story that followed from that. And then we gotta talk about episode two and all the information about that so we need to break all this down so make sure you watch to the end but go to the game league website right now and the links down below for in-depth advanced vods tips and tricks map guides agent guides i mean we have everything you need in order to climb the ranks of valor so do yourself a favor go check it out in the links down below but without further ado let's jump into the video now the first story that we're going to break down is the actual potential leaked rank system valor leaks on twitter put this out that he actually data mined from the game and it said this Seems that you can see your progress from your rank progression. This could be in preparation for a new rank system. Who knows? For instance, I lost my match, so I lost points. I went from 64 to 42 points, and I'm assuming the goal is 100 points. Now, for a long time, I've been talking about the fact that I would really love for us to be able to actually see the number and how much we're going up and down by, because it can be really, really frustrating when we lose, win, lose, win, lose, and then derank. And we're like, what the heck? How is that fair at all? But if we had a system like this, we would be able to see by how much our points are going up by and find that it's not always consistent. You see, in the game, there is a system that is going to put you in the rank that the system believes you deserve much quicker. And this system is made to really address smurfs where you get pushed up much faster if you're performing really well in your games And a lot of people generally like this system because then you could just get chunks of like Let's say it's from zero is where you derank and a hundred is where you rank up if you get chunks of 30 or 40 You're gonna rank up incredibly quickly and that's really good for the majority of the player base because at the very least It will push you out of the rank that you're in if you're performing much better than your peers or will push smurfs out of the rank that you're in so that they don't ruin your games and it will put them in the rank that they deserve much much quicker now i do think simply being able to see the number would fix a lot of these frustrations but i also know that it's going to reveal a new set of frustrations for many players specifically everyone who doesn't play duelist you see in the immortal games you are going to be increasing at a static rate because there's no behind the scenes mmr so i'm guessing it's only like a 20 flat for instance that's what you get ranked up for every win and you lose 20 for every lose and your win rate is all that matters but for every other rank underneath that your individual performance matters a lot that being said i could imagine it being really really frustrating where you're like a passive role someone like an omen or a killjoy and you're not racking up the kills so instead of getting like a 20 that a duelist would be getting or a 25 you're getting like a 15 or a 10 and when you're losing you're still losing a ton and that might not feel that fair now, in my personal opinion, I really like a system where you only go up and down based on actually winning or losing the game, not your individual performance, but then that removes one of the best tools that the developers have to actually flush Smurfs out of the system incredibly quickly. So there's no perfect scenario here, but I'm really interested what you would have to think about this in the comments down below. Now, the next thing that the Valorant League guy posted is that this system is actually already in the game, at least the numbers are in the game, but it's not visible to the player. And that really makes me think hey this system might already be implemented but maybe in a future patch we'll actually be able to see the number or is this just something that is going to get completely rehauled we don't know for sure if the rehaul has actually happened behind the scenes and they're just going to reveal it to us at a later time or if there's going to be even a future rehaul where maybe the number is instead of zero to 100 it's like zero to a thousand so that they could give different amounts of points depending on how well you do not entirely sure of how this is going to work in the future but if you have any ideas for how you would like a rank system, I'm really interested about it in the comments down below. And the next big story that we got to talk about is a Valorant Pro got absolutely banned off of Twitch. A professional Brazilian Valorant Pro, Tay Hu Hu, actually got completely indefinitely banned from Twitch because when she was gone away from her computer, her daughter showed up on stream, interacted with chat while she was grabbing food from her family, and Twitch just said, nah, this is the person that we need to permanently ban. 
can. Now, Jake Lucky also finished this off saying, let me help you on this one on Banner, and he's adding Twitch support. Now, that is absolutely the worst thing that could possibly happen to someone who is literally using their stream and their status as a professional female Valorant player that's actually sponsored to actually feed their family, and just due to just, like, this random daughter being on chat interaction, like a one-year-old daughter, is this gonna get you permanently banned? It just doesn't make any sense, especially with Twitch's terrible, terrible precedent that they keep setting where nothing is consistent with their policy. But the thing that's really important about this story is how strong the Valorant community clapped back. After Jake Lucky posted that, a lot of other people posted like crazy, and this the Valorant community as a whole showed nothing but support and love. And Slasher posted this only eight hours later saying this, success, she has been on bad from Twitch and is back to streaming daughter and all. Unbelievable, but not really that Twitch caused this scenario to begin with. Now, the idea that you could just get randomly banned from Twitch for something so minor is kind of horrifying, especially when a lot of us really think that maybe one day we could have success on Twitch and then out of nowhere, it can disappear just like that. But if you have a community like the Valorant community on your back supporting you, then you can easily get through and that's exactly what happened. So I think that's just a really heartwarming story to kind of help us along through all of the really shit stories that have been coming out recently for lack of a better term. Now, the last Thing that we need to talk about is the new patch and of course the new episode so we have the new patch coming next week and based on what Riot has already stated we know what's most likely going to be on this patch specifically balances for controllers we're very likely to see multiple balance changes to the remaining controllers brimstone and viper most likely will be getting buffs and hopefully not but it might be so omen might be getting nerfs we'll have to wait and see on the direct that they are going to be moving the controllers but we do know that we're going to actually have them more defined and this is most likely going to be coming in the next patch coming soon now that being said we're not going to get probably any more big changes until the new episode which is actually going to be coming out in the next two weeks on the 12th or 13th is when it's most likely going to be released and the 12th is looking like a prime candidate because that is the actual tuesday which is the regular schedule for valorant patch releases now i already talked about in great detail the new agent the new stealth agent that's going to be released with the new episode and i'm extremely excited about that as pretty much the entire community is and it's going to be a duelist for those of you who have missed some of our previous videos discussing the topic but i'm not going to go too into that here what i really want to talk about is the other things that are going to be coming with the new episode because you got to remember that when new episodes come out a lot of new big things come out as well with the game of valor first off we're going to get another cinematic almost 100 percent a brand new flashy cinematic is going to be coming our way and i'm really excited about that if y'all never watched the first one the first ignition cinematic that was absolutely amazing the next thing that we might be seeing and some of you might be thinking this is too soon but i would not be surprised at all if we see a new map riot has already came in the past and talked about how they really wanted to expedite their map pools and before they wanted to have one map per every episode but they already had one released remember icebox actually released early when it was supposed to be episodic so a lot of people might think that that means that there won't be another map but the riot developer said previously that they didn't expect a pre-release of icebox to actually affect future releases now that doesn't 100 percent mean we'll be getting a new map but there's a really strong chance we will be and honestly a new agent a new map a new cinematic that is all amazing and maybe just throw in like a i don't know a team deathmatch or something i'm not entirely sure but it all has me incredibly hyped for the new episode but definitely let me know what you want to see in the new episode in the comments down below and in the description down below, go to the GameLeap.com website right now for in-depth events, VODs, tips and tricks, map guides, agent guides. We got it all. So do yourself a favor. Go check it out in the links down below. But thank you so much for coming by. That's all I got for you today. I love your faces. And I'll see you tomorrow.